Guys, look at this. It's the Techno Phantom X. I want to say a word of thanks to our friends over from Techno Philippines for lending me this phone to review. And a word of warning, this phone will not be sold in the Philippines. Let's go! So hi guys, it's me Richmond of Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. So we have here the Techno Phantom X and it's the first time that I'll be opening a big box from Techno. So yeah, it makes me excited and this phone I heard is getting some good raves and for the ones who are worth it. And yeah, I know I'm worth it. So opening up, we can see a very nice leather finish case which feels good. I'm not quite sure if this is leather material or leatherette, but nevertheless, I can say it's really nice on the hands. And of course, here is my Phantom X phone, which is still inside the plastic cover, which we need to take it out. So sliding it out, we can see the blue color looks very nice and looks very premium. And surprisingly, this phone has curved edges. And yeah, it's the first time also that I see a curved edge phone over from Techno. And it's really something promising. And I hope they do sell the Phantom X2 here in the Philippines pretty soon. Upon release, of course. So let's go ahead and of course continue uh, finishing everything that's inside the box. We have our charger here. And I'm really used to see those small chargers from Techno. And this time it's one heck of a big chunk of charger. And let me see, the maximum output is 33 watts. First time also. Then of course we have something here, which is of course your charging cable and your headphones. This is my type C charging cable. And my free headphones, not bad. So there's a last X over here which I'm not sure what's inside and it's your 12 plus 1 warranty card and nothing oh yeah here's your SIM injector pin so let's get on to it so the first thing that I can say about this phone is that it's sleek and underneath we have the loudspeaker type C port microphone and of course your uh, 3.5 mm auto jack is still here which is pretty nice then we have your power button and volume rocker on the right side wherein the power button has some sort of a grip which is of course an added feature then on top we have your uh, of course sim tray which can host uh, one micro sd and of course two nano sim together with your noise cancelling mic and let's check this one out and true enough okay you can see uh but of course this is not yet 5g phone not yet 5g ready it's just your regular L, uh, 4G LTE. Your left side is pretty clear. And here we go. The camera module. This is powered by a triple camera. Uh, starting with your 50MP uh, main sensor. And we have your Techno Phantom uh, print at the bottom. And I really love the color over here. And of course, we now sport a curved screen. But before that, we just really want to put on this case and see that it's really nice i really can highly recommend this case and it's really slick okay so it puts a lot of accent uh to this phone giving it a lot of justice making it look a lot more premium uh with this leather uh, type case which i really love okay so but this phone is that it has super amoled screen together with 6.7 inch of screen size 90 hertz of screen refresh rate 1080p and definitely the curved screen is the winner here as you can see most of your curved edges screen uh, are found only on premium smartphones but of course techno trying to become a more premium smartphone is already trying to be there and yeah we appreciate something like this which is of course definitely very nice and very pleasing to the eyes uh, just hoping that they would probably sell this soon in the Philippines and maybe, maybe on the second iteration. And this one is powered by Android 11 HiOS 7.6. And the only down thing that I saw in this phone is that it 
only is powered by the MediaTek Helio G95, which is not a new processor in the market. I wish that they could have placed a roughly uh, MediaTek Dimensity 1100 or 1200 to become a more flagship-like phone. And getting this score is, of course, not really the one that I want on my flagship phone. But nevertheless, at least they gave it a try. Checking i2 to benchmark, uh, 100,000 points. Now, getting not so bad result from the Slingshot Extreme, which is roughly 2,765 points, and we will try to play some games a little bit later. So right now, let's talk a little bit about the camera of this phone. It, I know that this phone is a camera performer. It has a 50MP wide lens and 13MP telephoto lens, 8MP ultra wide lens, and of course, up front, we have dual selfie camera, which one is of course your 48MP main lens, and second is your 8MP ultra wide lens. So how about let's try to take some shots outdoors. Okay, so upon checking some outdoor shots, I can I am really impressed with the shots, and I can say that it's really punchy, it's really bright, and it's really snappy. Uh, what I like about it is that it is very easy to focus, especially uh, using your rear camera. It's really nice to use. Uh, up front, your front uh, selfie camera, I can see that it's also nice. Uh, under bright condition, it is able to give me those really awesome shots. Now, watching some videos here on this phone, I can say that the experience is really nice. Except that, of course, you have that two punch hole on top. is not really that nice for me since it takes away some part of the uh, viewing angle. But nevertheless, of course, it's dual camera. What more can I say? And uh, having this really nice Super AMOLED display is giving me a good time watching some videos from YouTube and of course from Netflix, even though that I don't receive uh, the chance to uh, watch some HD videos since it's just level three on white. But watching some 1080p videos here on YouTube, I can say that I did enjoy it. And yeah, the viewing angle is nice, but something missing is of course stereo sounds. Uh, I know that it only has one speaker down there. Uh, probably the only thing that I want is that it could have been louder if they place another one on top. But of course, if you're not contented with the sounds, you can always plug in your favorite headphones to enjoy the sounds. Now I did try playing Call of Duty here on this phone and yeah, G95 is definitely a gaming processor, but nevertheless, uh, it still has some glitches and of course hiccups when you play Call of Duty. It's not the best that I've played on a smartphone but yeah it's still playable but you can always tune down a bit on your graphic settings yeah playing this game i was able to lower some graphic settings and well what do you know i was able to enjoy the game for roughly an hour and a half and it did give me a good time playing call of duty while playing with my headphones on and the gameplay i can say that it's smooth but sometimes there's still frame drops nevertheless of course uh but anyways, it was really a nice experience. Techno Phantom X has a 4,700 mAh of battery which can charge as fast as 33 watts. Now, I did drain it down to 20%, charging back up to 100, and yeah, I was able to finish in roughly 54 minutes. And checking the PC mark for screen on time, I was able to squeeze out around 11 hours on this phone. And on daily usage, I was able to, well, uh, make it last for a day and using your normal daily activities not too much on gaming it will be able to last you for a whole day oh, guys what can I say about this Techno Phantom X and really it's one heck of a device which is pretty light and what I like about it is that it's curved screen I like the case at the back it's really very professional the camera is good and the battery is also good the only downside is I wish that they could have placed a Dimensity 1100 or a Dimensity 1200 instead of the G95, which to make it a lot better in terms of performance. But of course, it is what it is. And yeah, this is not available here in the Philippines. And, 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 and take note, guys, that this phone is not to be sold in the Philippines. And probably, hopefully... And take note, guys, that this phone is not to be sold in the Philippines. And I hope that the second iteration might be sold here pretty soon. 
So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos here from my channel. And I'm Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. What's up?